morning. Good day. Happy Saturday. Mm -hmm. Saturday. 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 Mm -hmm. Sorry, we're a little late. Had some technical difficulties. Computers, they're the best. Yeah. I'm the producer and the host and the co-host and the writer. They and keep that way they can see that I want a hippopotamus. She's going to have a hippopotamus for Christmas? I don't know where she's getting this from. Maybe. Maybe maybe my mom will get me a Maybe your mom will get you a hippopotamus. for. Good luck, Debbie. <laughs> Let us know how that goes. Maybe uh, the hippopotamus she's can at her stay house. at your house. Yeah, because yeah, okay. that ain't going to work at my house. No, I got no room for that. Anyway, good. welcome to Warm and Cozy Quilting. I am Jason. And I'm Danielle. You are Danielle. I have my spoon and my coffee still like a heat. I'm so sorry. I'm not stirring that. Uh, here's me. She doesn't care. care. She just going to do it. <laughs> Oh, good Lord. You got people out there saying hi. Yeah. You good morning, people. Christy and Carla. Good morning to Sharon. And Deborah says it's chilly. And they, Tennessee. Yeah. I think Christy said she's having chilly this morning. Oh, she's having chilly? No, she just said good chilly morning. But Oh, it is. <laughs> thought it was funny um, for a second. Hi, Kathy and Nina. Mics are so cutting, cutting in and out. out. What? What? Um, well, maybe it's maybe it's you. Maybe we'll have other people yell at us about Let's our sounds. See. We'll give it another second. And it's always possible. See what other people tell me. Um, worst case scenario, I uh, maybe your batteries are dying on your maybe you know headphone thingy. I didn't know what you're, your <laughs> the, ears the little, you are battery powered at this point. No, moment. you know your little iPod <laughs> situation. Got you. Yes. No. What are they called? AirPods, AirPods. AirPods. Yeah, yeah. You got to maybe you need to charge them. Um, I think <laughs> I did have a hello over on the um, YouTube. YouTube. Debbie, she's watching on the YouTube. So, oh, yeah, cool. Forget. Mom, give me a hippopotamus and stay in your house. She did get you the shirt. She so did give me the shirt. So that's, that's, I mean, that's good enough. Maybe she'll get you another hippopotamus shirt. I don't. Why? I got oh. one. That's enough. Why not? Sound... Good. Ooh, and we got That's Jackie hanging out on YouTube as well. Good morning, Jackie. I feel like I've missed people because I've been waiting to see your, if someone else says, there, there. "Hey, yo, we can't hear you." We're professional. It's okay. Okay. Good morning to Good morning to Maureen, mm -hmm. and hi, Cindy. Hello, Alvina, and Dolores. And good morning, Mary. We'll see Mary later today. Ooh, fun. Yeah. Ooh, that's gonna be a good day. And good, good morning, fun. Sandy, and Kathy, Kim. Good morning, and Karen. Nice. We got lots of people like watching today. There today. I love it. Lots of people saying hello. Again, I'm gonna say it one more time. Uh, you can Just watch one us. More time. Stop interrupting me. Anyway, by the YouTubes. Mm -hmm. uh, if you go over there, make sure you hit the subscribe button. You can watch us over there anytime. It's so much easier to find our content there. Mm -hmm. But we do love broadcasting to the internet, Facebooks as well. So, right. Um, yes, be aware of that. It helps us grow and people to find us better. So. Mm -hmm. All right. And I could not wake up today. Me either, but we did. So that's I the had a dream part. that we had two shops. Ooh. Our old shop Ooh. and the shop we're currently in. It seems weird though that they'd be in the same town. It, yes. I feel like we'd have to be in So I, don't I had know. and then I was like I was at the other place and I was leaving the door open because it was nice outside. There was a whole weird and I was like, "Wait, Nobody's down at the other shop. Who's even going to answer the phone? <laughs> anyway, really, really. This is like, a very what? stressful dream. I, I couldn't live with this. This yeah. would be tough. And then Jason said, hey, it's time to get out of bed. And I'm like, okay. Uh. <laughs> anyway, I, I have do. not had enough coffee. I apologize if, you know, Absolutely. I don't make sense. Maybe, you know, it's okay. We do have people here to answer the phone. People will answer the phone if you call. So please yeah. Be to call <laughs> My nightmares are not like coming true. Right They're now. not real. Uh, so a couple things to talk about before we go into our topic of conversation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we do want to remind you that the Janome Christmas sale on the machines, mm -hmm. the magazine is actually over on the desk where okay. I am not. Um, apparently she's going to go get it because why not? That's what we do. Basically, if you need a machine and you want to get a Janome, because that's what we sell, and they're fantastic mm -hmm. machines, now is a time to do that. Tell your family, this is one I want. Open the magazine up, this show is, them. This is the book. Oh, Circle it, come in and say this. 
And then there and we it go. has the like the air threaders, the so sergers. It has sergers in there. It has um embroidery machines, mm-hmm. different embroidery machines, you know, if you want a uh like seven needle. Seven needle embroidery machine yeah, if you want to get you serious get about one, your embroidery. You can get one. If you want a HD9, which is a straight stitch only machine. We talked oh, about that last week. Oh, I pieced on that this week. Oh, I know. I, where's that quilt at? I thought you brought it in here. Oh, there it is. This thing, for real, fast quilt to put together. Especially if you have an HD9. Super fast. And I mean, like where things needed to match up, they matched up. Was I mean, I went fast and it was be... still really good. I, I was saying, though, that I feel like if you go really fast, the fabric doesn't have time to move. It doesn't. It, it doesn't can't have shift, time to shift on you. So, quick. so you just go and <laughs> it'll be perfect. That's so weird. But it works. Um, so Hey, Kathy, thanks. I'm glad that you like my hair. It's really driving me crazy. <laughs> well, there's facts of it all. She does want, she needs a haircut. Like, she needs it cut here. But, like, you've got an appointment for, like, a week or so from now. Yeah, like the 19th. So thing. she's going to. Just, I mean, like, this can stay long, but can we, can we get a little bit off my neck? Can we get a mohawk? Can you get do off that? my neck Like, here. super cool mm. 1990s, 80s grunge. Um, oh, thank you for the info, Sharon. Sharon mm. has that 9450. Yep. It is a top closing, you know, and your thread sits inside like this. That's great. Okay. This is works fine. Mm-hmm. My machine has the full kind of cone holder attached yep. and doesn't have the, uh, anyway, there is a thing that you can put on the back. Yes. You just, it, the it's 9450 cool has mm-hmm. screws already ready for you. Mm-hmm. You put that on and then you have two spools that can sit right there and they feed off really nicely. I'm glad to hear. Thank you. So Sharon. there is a five cone mm-hmm. and a two cone Correct. that we have so mm-hmm. five is a bit excessive that'd be something like if you're going to use it for your serger which most of our sergers come with that but right. if you want to get wild and put that on your machine because you're going to change threads also a whole lot. like maybe embroidery yeah maybe yeah. on the embroidery machine you'd put the five that way you have all of your colors lined up for your project right. even though you're only doing one thread at a time they're all right there that right. would be a good idea nice little add-ons great christmas gifts mm-hmm. throw that on your wish list Okay, uh, one other announcement before we get farther into this. I have the here for you the 12 days of Christmas. Um, we did put this out in our newsletter. Mm-hmm. If you don't get our newsletter and you'd like to, just let us know. Um, sometimes uh, you may we may not have checked a box. Yeah. Um, so that's something that we can double check. Also, if you generally just watch us on Facebook and you don't, you just haven't ever signed in to our web or looked at our website and signed mm-hmm. in and made an account, uh, you may not get those things. So, if you want them, you can just go to the website right. warm, warm letter in cozyquilting dot com and go to the contact us page. Mm-hmm. At the very bottom, there's a newsletter sign up field. You can fill in your name and email address, and then you'll be on the list to get newsletters Ba-ding. monthly. Right. By the way, um, but. We have the 12 days of Christmas going on this year. We do. And uh, starts Friday, December 9th. So next Friday. Next Friday. And then each day, uh, not on Sunday or Monday. Now, we will still have a flash sale on that Monday. Okay, but that's not part of the nine not days. Not part of the okay. 12 days of Christmas. 12 days. Nine, 12, whatever. Pick a day. Um, okay, so for my remote friends, mm-hmm. can they do this? I hope so. So this says, you know, Notion's 25% off, and how would they do that? Just go into the Notion's category on the website? Well, here's the deal. There will be definitely a component for you guys. Yeah. There are, I think there's one day where it's going to be tricky, but I think we have a workaround. Yeah. Um, and you, we will, so we will post a comment with, or we'll post, comment. we'll make a post on Facebook yeah. that tells you, hey, today is Notion's 25% off. Oh, come in and get it, or it. use this code, or nice. or we'll have directions on what we'll you need you to do. Like if it's going to be a flash sale where things are this price, or if it's going to be a, you know, you got to put in a code. We'll give you all that information on Facebook each day. Yeah, yeah. So pay attention to that. So follow us if you don't. 
but we have notions for 25% off. We have backings for 20% off on Saturday the 10th. Um, there's books and patterns for 20% off, pre-cuts, seasonal fabrics. This is my favorite one right here, the gift card. Free $10 gift card with a $50 gift card purchase. So if you want to purchase it for yourself, I don't care. Come in and say, I want to do that. We're going to give you $60 on one card, only charge you $50. It's all good, do. right? Um, and you can do that as many times as you want. You want three hundred dollars worth? If your family know, I wants to math. get you a gift card for Christmas, tell them yeah. that day. Which is go get it. Go in store and get it. Saturday, December seventeenth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, there's a solids day. There's a thirty percent off one item. Mm -hmm. um, and batiks are going to be on sale one day, and fat quarters Ooh. for. To fit. Merry Christmas Eve. Oh my good Lord. Like Christmas Eve. That is Christmas That's going to be a hard one for my online folks, so we've got to work around. We'll have to figure okay. something out. It'll be fine. Woo, Lordy. Look forward to that one. Super exciting. All right, cool. Yeah. Um, do we have anything we need to address more on the screen before we go Just into that more? Pam says it's going to be warm in Alabama. Oh, I think we said we're going to been, Alabama before. She, she's Alabama. been fighting, you know, being sick. Oh, just ew. cold and whatever. Yeah, and it was chilly the other day. And now it's going to be seventy again. And you get you go this this whole bing, doo, 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 with the wild price of, swings. Yeah, or when the price the price the, the price of the weather outside <laughs> right the the Everything's degrees the temperature and it makes it a little challenging to get over a head cold. Yes, for sure. For sure, for sure. Okay, so. Today, we're talking International Mystery Quilt because it's the first Saturday of the month. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Uh, many of you have gotten your pattern, your finished quilt tops posted out there on the interwebs. We do have an announcement for you regarding next year. We'll talk about that at the end of all of this. So don't go anywhere. You do want to know this. Yes. I promise. For sure. Um, anyway, so this month we went to Mexico. 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 Uh, did anybody make the pattern, the foot or the pattern? The food recipe. It was like Ooh. the sweet rib or something like that. Yeah. Like, oh my good lord, it looked fantastic. I didn't make it. So should we tell them about what we made for dinner last night? They don't care what we <laughs> had for dinner last night. If um, you care, ask. We'll tell you. Maybe we'll see how it goes. <laughs> uh anyway, so we went to Mexico. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the beautiful quilt top piece by Miss Sadie, mm -hmm, her sister, mm -hmm, who mm -hmm. decided not to be here this morning. I'm kidding. I know why. It's funny. I have. Did to you see me? Did you see me? I, I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Ooh. So, <laughs> good Lord, I almost walked into that one. Anyway, neighbors of the South, uh, they are officially known as the United Mexican States. Um, it is pretty. It is beautiful. Uh, the pattern described this as the Mexican cross block. Um, yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Not much to talk about, but we'll talk about <laughs> it. Uh, but let's talk about Mexico, shall okay. we? Would you like to know some information? I would like to know about Mexico. I love. Since we went there. We didn't, but we didn't. Many of but, you probably have, yeah. and enjoyed yourselves because it is a number one tourist destination in Latin America. Oh. Did you know that? I, I mean, learned that in my fun fact finding. So, but Mexico is not just one little tiny place. It's kind of big. No, there's a lot to it. There's a lot to it. All right, so I've got some images here. So, if you're unfamiliar with it. There is Mexico in its entirety. Thank you, Google Maps. Uh, Google is actually composed of 31 states. Mexico is 31, Mexico is state. 31 states. Uh, the capital is Mexico City, which you can see there in the southern middle part portion of the state. Right, country. right, right, right. Right? All right, back to me. So how big is it compared to... <laughs> we are not doing this today. <laughs> Hold on. We're going to talk about the flag for a second. Okay. All right. So the flag... I did find this interesting, this tidbit of information. This is the Mexican flag. Um, if you look closely in the middle of the flag, you'll see an eagle with a snake in its mouth perched on the branch of a prickly pear. This is a lot going on, but this is all very symbolic. And and um, then there's like some other kind of wreath thing going around. There are. Okay. Um, so legend has it that the Aztecs were told by the sun god, I can't pronounce that name, it's a wild name, uh, to look for a place where this scene was played out. Uh, and they found it in a lake that would become Tenochtitlan. I can't say it. I'm so sorry. My Hispanic and Spanish is not good. But basically, where nowadays Mexico City is. Okay. So, yeah, the, back 
the as so, they were told this, so they, they found went this and they found the bird. There was this lake, the and there was this golden the... eagle eating a snake on a prickly pear, and they're like, Mexico City. This well, you are it. The appropriate name, but sure. it's now turned into anyway. Yeah, so very cool. But now that's part of their their flag. That's what they are known for. That's what they do. So mm-hmm. pretty cool, actually. We have some stars. Mm-hmm. We have no stars here, guys. I'm a star. Well, yeah. we got two. Yeah. High five. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Suddenly we dropped to zero. <laughs> Suddenly <laughs> dropped to zero. Wild. Wild. Anyway. anyway. So anyway, that's where the flag symbol comes from. Awesome. It didn't have any information on the colors. It doesn't really help me. Like, I thought you were going to tell me the eagle represents loyalty. Oh. And the snake represents blah, blah, blah. And no, it's standing was... on this, which represents... No, that was just the sun god said, boom, that's where your your city should be. You need to go find a place find like where this. this. And they found it. That's the thing. They found it happening. Bird eating snake on prickly pear. Like, you're going to have to go find a rabbit eating a carrot next to a, a lily pad. That's where you... This and is that gonna, is going to be where you, put the city. where you put your city. I mean, that was a bit extravagant. I am not mocking the situation. I do appreciate sure, this, sure. this I just heritage, am, but I'm, like, I'm just saying the chances of finding that. I thought there would that, be more. I thought there would be. More. Oh, that's all right. That's like, okay. That you know. Welcome to disappointment. Symbolism. I wanted there to be symbolism. <laughs> adulthood. It's the worst. It's it is. Sad. It is the worst. <sighs> okay. So as far as you know, what size is the worst part is. about <laughs> about being an adult? No. You have to decide what you're going to eat. Three times a day, every day, True. for the rest of your life. But on the plus side, you get to choose what you spend your money on, mostly, and including yeah, fabric. True. And I could eat ice cream for dinner if I want, since I'm right. a real. Yeah. yeah. Sure, you totally could. Nobody's stopping you. I'm not. Uh, good habits for our kids, that does stop us. Mm, if yeah. they weren't at home, probably ice cream for dinner. All right, so landmass. I don't even need ice cream. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Mexico covers 760,000 square miles, which is the 13th largest country okay. in the world. Um, I don't have that website pulled up. Um, what's the size or what's your size? Don't just Google random names like that because I don't. True know. size. No, it's not. Anyway, <laughs> uh, but it's is it like, is it, so is it bigger than, let's say, California, Texas? Like, how big is this country? <laughs> Can I drive from one end to the other in a day? Well, I mean, probably not because, like, Baja there is, like, separated by this giant gulf. So, it we go whoop and around? No. Oh, okay. It wouldn't be a day drive. Um, unless okay. you drive super fast, which I probably wouldn't encourage. No. Uh, the their desert. population is approximately 129 million people. Gosh, that's, that's a lot, a lot of people. people. Mm-hmm. Uh, tenth most populous country in the world. Tenth. On the scale of however many there are. Um, like I said, they are comprised of 31 states, with Mexico City being the capital. It's predominantly Spanish-speaking. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. they don't have an official language. Mm-hmm. So, America, we say our official language is English. But we do, But that is not true either. Well. We don't have an official language either. Did, did they you change know that? I thought we did. I maybe know. I don't maybe, know. Maybe we didn't have an official language until like 1984 or something. Maybe your history is better knowledge than mine. Because I make it all up. Thank you, Internet. I'm kidding. I don't make it up. I read what other people wrote. I'm looking it up right now. Look it up right now. That's fine. Dominant or, or what is the official language? Official language of America. Bad That's English. That's not even what we're talking about right now anyway. No, so. we're talking about Mexico, which is in North America, by the way. Uh, anyway. So Mexico did declare their independence from Spain in September of 1810. So, you know. The United States... Does not have an official language. Really? Nice. Mm-hmm. Well, that's cool. We don't need an official language. The most common language is English. Let's see. Makes sense. Specifically, American English. You know why they had to put that? Because <laughs> it's, it's not, not very thing. good English. It's not <laughs> the greatest English that's out there. It's its, its own thing, that's for yeah. sure. Anyway, go back to Facebook. Um, Omarine agreed with that. So, yeah. There is no official one. <laughs> All right. So, back to Declaration of Their Independence. So, declared independence, 1810, not recognized until 1836. They're on their, currently on their third constitution, mm. which was adopted February 1917. So, there was... So, it's stuck some, around now for 100 years. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. they're doing good. They're pretty solid now. There was some, you know, 
crazy things that happen between people and possession and territories and all that stuff. Um, so much to just so much information to go through. I sure. really am just cherry picking points at this right. point. Um, anyway, if you did notice, none of those dates that I mentioned for their independence mm -hmm. had anything to do with May or May 5th. Oh, right. Because but we but we celebrate Cinco de Mayo. What is it? Or they celebrate? Or well, we celebrate too. We, Mostly, we just want to go have nachos, right? So about that, Cinco de Mayo is not Mexico's Independence Day. Okay, it's what is not. it? What is it? They well, just, all it does. It's actually Mexico. Like, does May not, 5th. They don't celebrate it. Literally, oh. it's one city. May kind of sort of does. It's Puebla, Mexico, uh -huh. uh, and it's actually um, it celebrates Mexico's victory over France in a battle that was fought in 1862. It's not an independent. It's just a reason for Americans to drink. Congratulations, guys. So <laughs> we, go team. We, we find lots of those, and we do it. Just go with it. Fine. I just like nachos. You guys so. beat France. Congratulations. <laughs> Good morning, Jason. Hello, Jason. Good to see you on. Um, so anyway, I'm not saying don't celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Just know that it's made up. Yeah, well, <laughs> I mean, we could say May 6th, you know. We could we could we could do whatever you want at this point. Right. They also, did beat you can France eat nachos, that day, so it's cool. You can eat nachos any day, anytime you want, and have margarita right alongside with it. Now, this informational fact I did find interesting: Mexico has more than thirty pyramids. Oh, oh right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are home to the world's largest pyramid. No way. Yeah. They have a bigger pyramid than Egypt. Yes. And we're not talking about pyramids mm -hmm. when we talk about Mexico. Mm -mm. Nobody. Uh, they should, though, because... You think, you think pyramids, you think Egypt. You do. But, here you go. Cholula, mm -hmm. right? Uh, it's in the state of Puebla. Uh, it's the, Here's the thing. It is only 66 meters tall, which is 216 feet. Giza yeah, is 400 and something feet tall. So, but how... Hear, hear me I'm out. Let me get through I'm this. Listening. Let me get through this. <laughs> the base of this is across... 400 meters, which is 1,300 feet. The G pyramids of Giza are 756. So crossed. they made them short and wide. Yes. Or they made them skinny and tall. So because of that short and wide, volume wise, mm -hmm. as far as like contained inside. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sure. If you like square meter, whatever. Right. Cholula is, is 4.5 million cubic meters. Oh, cubic well, meters. Cubic meters. Well, he's a, is 2.6 million cubic meters. <laughs> None of this matters to me. <laughs> so basically, it's almost double the size in volume <laughs> yeah. of the ones in Giza. Just That's not crazy. as tall. So it's just, yeah. The thing is, it's actually kind of in a mountain, built into a mountain. So people were recognizing that it was actually a temple. Oh, okay. Right. Cool, huh? That is cool. Kind of. I said I didn't care, but I do. You it's do care. Cool. Um and actually, Chichen Itza is one of the seven wonders of the world. That's mm -hmm. when you think of pyramids in Mexico. I'm sure you kind of immediately thought of that iconic, like, stepped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's Chichen Itza. And that is one of the seven wonders of the world. People know of that one. It's not near the size of the Egyptian pyramids. But sure. well, it's more iconic, if you will. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, it does date back, that Chichen Itza does date, date back to between 8th and 10th century A.D., and is visited by over 2.6 million tourists annual annually. Mm. Boy, that was a tough word to say. It's a lot of people. I don't um, think I want to go there. That's crowded. Yeah. Can, when is their off season? Can, Can we go there? Off season. <laughs> when does the cartel? But there's only like a million people there instead of two million. <laughs> right. Can we have just a few less people? Can I just go by myself? Does the rest of them just no? Man, when you guys are gonna like I'm sidetracked. Oh god. 2020. Uh huh. I don't know if you know this, but like the world shut down, right? So okay, sure, we believe. Then you. they started opening things back up slowly, mm -hmm. and we got to go. We went to the Quilt Museum. We did in Paducah, and there was nobody. There, <laughs> there was like five people. So nice. We were we were most of those five people. Right. Yes, we were. Four we had to of the wear five. a mask. We had to wear a mask, but that was fine. We were and so we quiet. we were like not rush through it. Well, also it was the only time that you had been, the first time that you had been there. Mm -hmm. And I'm like it's not normally like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually way more people. But anyway, it was fun. We got to walk That was my type of vacation. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> and drive home and sleep in our own bed. <laughs> like, that sounds great. That's how you do it. 
Uh, all right, so Mexico City has the second most museums in the world. Did you know that? I did not know I that. I didn't look who the first. Oh my gosh! And I'm I guessing you, France. You Paris. do know that I love art and I love museums. I and how come we haven't gone there? Well, oh. I don't know why. Because we haven't. That's why. Mm -hmm. uh, largest number of Large, taxis in the world. In Paris and their second. Is that I, right? I'm guessing. I oh, don't okay. really know. I feel that I remember that from the France International mm -hmm. Mystery Quilt mm -hmm. that they had. Anyway, I could be wrong. Somebody will correct me. I'm sure. Thank you so much for that. Um, but again, most taxi cabs in the world in Mexico City. More taxi cabs than New York. No way. It's okay. Also, Jason said that it that that I don't know how to say what Chichen Itza is really cool. That because it's so wide, and spread like oh. it's, it does. It's not super crowded. Well, then maybe we should go. We can go now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Thank fine. you, Jason. Just don't drink the water. <laughs> this is what I've been told. Everywhere in any country, because it's different than the water that you're used to, your body is going to react a little bit weird. Okay. But we can, though, go with this idea. Okay. So, Mexico is the largest consumer of Coke, but cola. Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola. <laughs> <laughs> what but, did you think I meant? But, but, but they have Mexican Coke that has real sugar. Right. Um, so, because of that, the maths out that each person that lives in Mexico drinks approximately half a liter of Coke a day. Okay. And because of that, mm -hmm. they have the second largest obesity problem. Oh, man. Yeah. Second to America. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, also, it led to a very high rate of diabetes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Right. Because you really shouldn't be drinking all now, of that. <laughs> I say that uh, kind of jokingly, not jokingly, because, you know, correspondence, I don't know, but because of that is why correlation, that, but yeah. the correlation's there. So the the government has actually started kind of stepping in and they've put rules in place. Some local governments have put in that you can't, like kids, underage kids can't even buy soda. Oh, yeah. Without yeah. somebody there to say it's okay. So to try like to nicotine, help like we're trying to cut back right. the caffeine and sugar consumption. Yeah. Yeah, so... It's a real thing, but just so you know, that happens. Um, it is the most visited tourist destination in America, in Latin America. Mexico is, so plenty of a country to go visit. The color TV mm -hmm. was invented by a Mexican. Okay. Uh, Guillermo Gonzalez Camarena was the inventor of the color television and was born in the Mexican city of Guadalajara, Jalisco. Mm. I've never been there. Made the color but, TV. I mean, cool, right? Right. Um, and Mexico City is built on a lake, and it's yeah. sinking at about a rate of 12 centimeters annually. Oh, oh I know that doesn't that? seem like much, but that's a lot. I knew it was built on a lake, or, you know, like they had kind of filled it in and built a city, but that seems to be a lot. Like, what happens after, think... like, a couple centuries, and now you're like, well, you just build over it and start again? Maybe, or you just move stuff over here. You're in the first floor of this apartment complex. Next thing you know, you've got a second floor basement. You got to take the elevator to get up to a, out of the water. <laughs> it's isn't fun down here anymore. Mm -hmm. um, so Mexico is also home of one of the six cradles of civilization. Mm -hmm. um, what that is, is just the history of, of humans can be traced back pretty significantly far in that area. So um, that country, actually, that area has been populated by humans for at least the last 22,000 years. Wow. That's a long time for people to be yes. in an area. For so, sure. Anyway, lots of history to be found down there. First public park was established in Mexico. Did you know that? Did not. Did you know this? I mean, they have some great history. I want to learn more about Mexico. All beaches in Mexico mm -hmm. are public. Hmm. I'm going. Okay. Um, and then we just we discussed the Cinco de Mayo falsity that it's not right. really. I mean, it, they're celebrating something. May as well. Somebody is. Right. We are. Right. Not so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At least one area in Mexico. We're <laughs> the people from Mexico are like, we beat do, them! Yay! Woo! You know, they're oh, like, you're okay. doing what? They're, they're doing what up there? Fine. Okay. All right. If you insist, guys. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> so. Again, there's so much more history on Mexico. It sounds beautiful. I've never been there, I but I've heard it's that colorful. We make up days just to be able to celebrate something. Uh, like, you know, uh, um, Mother's Day Mother's is made up, yeah. Valentine's Day is made up. Sure. Um, um, now, support your local quilt shop day. Is that made, made up? This is very real. That is very real. And, and this, this should January. be every day. Come on in, buy a machine. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that is in January, isn't it? Yeah. 
It is. Yeah. That's a good one. I do enjoy that one. <laughs> um, all right. That's what I got on Mexico. Okay. If you've never been, here it's a great place. Go visit it. Nice. If you have been. Now, you did tell them that you were going to tell them something about this block. Oh, yeah. We're getting there. Okay. What's next? I just wanted to wrap up the whole country visit. That's where it is. All right. So, in our pattern this month, it was called the Mexican cross. Mm hmm because it's a cross shape. Um, I don't I don't know anything beyond that. I could not find anything. So let me tell you, he has an encyclopedia. So many of you have seen the Barb Brackman Encyclopedia of Quilt Blocks. I mean, I'm not kidding. It's a big fat book. Right? Okay, it's Tons an encyclopedia. You understand. It's large. Any and almost every block that's ever been made, she's done a ton of informational research, found stuff, put it all in here, kind of cross post, cross link stuff that you're gonna go find and mm -hmm, reference. Mm -hmm. On top of that, I do have the book from Jenny Byers, who did mm -hmm. the same thing. They're both probably about that fat, full of patterns and designs and layouts and blah, 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 and history of where they came from. And he flipped through and flipped through and flipped through. I found very similar variations of this. Mm -hmm. um, this is a very similar variation of the Mexican star block. Right. The difference is that the Mexican star block is typically turned. 45 degrees. On point. It has like a sashing that runs between here. So you have your star, but have a, it's kind of broken by an X mm -hmm, because sure. of the sashing. Yeah. So very similar, not the same. Right. But that's what we found about the Mexican star or cross, but that's just what it is. Also, um, I just feel like, at, I'm sorry if I'm thinking something you were going to no, say, ahead. but um, I feel that sometimes there may be a history of a certain block, mm -hmm. but the person who's writing this pattern, they're like, oh, let's call this, I don't know. Right. And then they make up whatever they want. And that's kind of how it's always been. Right. And this just kind of goes to show that you can take any block, something that's well known, just change a couple of things and make it your block. Right. And make it whatever you want it to be. Right. Um, and this, you know, it's just the evolution of quilt blocks as it's always been. Mm -hmm. So all the work that, or Brackman and all the ladies before them have done cataloging all these. And there's still modifications it's, happening. It's definitely changing. helpful. I mean, it's fun to find out, you know, what you can about certain things. But mm -hmm. sometimes there's just not. So there was one block that came super close to being exactly this. Mm -hmm. It's called the quilt box. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's exactly almost entirely this block. <laughs> except. Exactly. Almost entirely. And almost entirely. Except for this this large, this solid piece in the corner mm -hmm. was fabric that mirrored this here. So it almost gave a three-dimensional block, well, depending on how you fabric placed it. That seems like way different. It's so very similar, except instead of piecing that, we just solid pieced in there. Otherwise, the center right. is very much the same. I see. Again. I think it's a cool block. What I, I think that... Um, Did you see all the ones from this you, month? Uh, By the way, super awesome. love them. Super Wonderful awesome. color choices. Although, I think it's very difficult. I think I'm constantly zooming in yeah. to look and see, and, you know, at them a little bit more closely because pictures are never really as good as the real no, thing, never. you know? Um, frequently, we have lots of people in the area who've been doing this mm -hmm. and they come by and show us or they'll drop them off to have them quilted and I'm like, this is so much better in person. Yeah. They really are. Do love seeing them in person. It does make things a lot better. Yeah. Um, so, on that note, that kind of wraps up our Mexican visit. Okay. It was a good time. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It seemed Same fairly straightforward. I did. Not I wish we it, were so. on a beach, though. Oh, gosh. I would do this from a beach, I think. Yeah. The sun, the lighting would be better. Better. Warmer. Warmer, yeah. For sure. A little more sandy. Okay, without the sand. <laughs> you can just wear your shoes. I guess so. <laughs> Would I be standing or sitting in the sand? Mm -hmm. Are we on a beach towel at this point? I feel this is excessive. Yeah, too We've probably much. gone let's too go. far. Let's, let's go, go back. too far. Back, back it up. up. Back it up. All right, so next month. Next month is going to be a fairly straightforward pattern where we're going. It's going to be pretty fantastic, but right, that's right. my catchphrase. Um, the color recommendations for next month. Mm -hmm. This month. Technically. December, yeah, December for this, this month. month. For this last pattern. They do recommend that you use either fall colors, mm -hmm. which makes sense. Uh, pinks and reds. Don't understand the pinks and reds. Mm -hmm. uh, or just reds. Mm. I get the reds. The reds make sense. So, 
Hmm. Anyway. Where could we be going? You'll figure it out because uh, I think we're going to hit the send button on those patterns right after this video. So you should. As long as you don't forget. Hours. Remember last I month? I totally forgot last, last month. Last month we were out running I around think, for about, about I think a half Sadie hour. Sadie sent it though. Because oh, okay. I went to go do it. I'm like, oh gosh, I forgot to do that. I ran out to my computer and it was, and it was already set, done. So. Thank you, Sadie. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, as we had said Having though, a team. A team works. I mean, it's the best. Mm -hmm. uh, with that all said and done, Expect your pattern to come out soon, but I said we have a very special announcement regarding International Mystery Quilt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want to cover this one? No. Oh. I guess mm -hmm. nobody will. Nobody will. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Have a I'm kidding. So, here's what's happening. Okay, so we're going to do it again. We're going to do what again? International Mystery Quilt. The same patterns? No. Oh. Oh. We have a whole new 12 pattern. <gasps> so, we're continuing into 23. We're going to continue into 23, Ooh, but we're going to goodness. do it totally different. Okay. All right. Tell me more. So I felt that this year was fine. Sure. It was great. I have enjoyed um, it. But I like revealing the quilt. Okay. And then giving you guys the pattern. And so you see our example at the same time that you're getting the pattern, you know, uh -huh. um, that you're not, okay. oh, cool. I've got this mystery pattern. and. It's no longer a mystery because I can flip to the back page and see uh, it, right? Um, and you have no real reference, you know? And, sure. Um, so I... Other than some poorly colored blocks on a piece of paper because right. really their color schemes sometimes are just atrocious. And then, and sometimes, I mean, you may not like my color combinations either, but at least it would be nice to see a quilt yeah. finished, right? Right. So um, if you've been following along with us for as many years... It's for um, very long. We did this. This is how we did stash pot pie. Right. Where we would reveal this month's quilt. So today we would be showing you December. Right. And then you would get your pattern. And then you would be, we would talk a little bit more about this particular month mm -hmm. rather than last month. Right. Okay. So we're, we're starting off the month with here's what's happening. We are going to do this the last Saturday of the month instead of the first Saturday okay of okay the month. all right good deal i like seeing the block first too yeah yes yeah. absolutely so i right. i think most people are going to really appreciate going back to what the spp was yes it's still going to be international mystery quilt but uh, very important to note that so we're going to start with so December. let me tell you so mm -hmm. the first saturday of the month i have yes my hundred block series that we are doing my mm -hmm. tula pink city sampler that several people are coming and hanging out with me and sewing so we can't do that and have international mystery quilt at mm -hmm. the same time no. so i i said let's move it to the last saturday of the month um that still gives you the same amount of time right you get this one on the last saturday next one last saturday next one last saturday right mm -hmm. so it, just, right. it still works out yep. um uh then we are going to have an in-person that was component. the important conversation. That know? was the important conversation. So. Last Saturday of each month. So starting the last Saturday of January, because we're going to have January's pattern. Wrong. Last what? Saturday of December, we're going to show you January. I know, but we're not going to be here for that. Are we? Are we starting in person in December on the oh, 31st? Well, you guys When we're be... normally closed? You, they can. Oh. Be they can if they're loyalty members because that's fifth Saturday. It is. Anyway, that's not that important. <laughs> the December 31st, we are going, or 31st? That is the right. very last Saturday um, of this year. We are going to reveal to you January. Cool, right? Yeah. Right? And then um, you will have until the last Saturday of January to finish that quilt. Um, you can come in and sh and. What we're going to do is a show and tell. We're going to show to the camera and to the live studio audience yeah. your quilt. So you do not you have to be on camera. camera. And you don't have to be here. So if you're remote, that's okay. You'll right. still get to participate right. by watching. Right. But it's more fun to be in person to see these because I'm going to tell you now. And you can post. If we still it. want you to post your picture. Post your picture. You know, whatever. Um, but this might be really nice. You know, we, we would always try to do that. Okay, here's a wrap up. Here's a summary on that Monday following, and here's everybody's pictures. Mm -hmm. It's still a picture, and it's still hard to really tell. Um, 
we'll have more details about that coming out because um, we want, yeah, we'll have more details about that coming out. I want to give you all of the pieces of details, but let's not. Just let's know we're going to be in person again. We're going to be in person. It's going to be fun. We're going to have the camera set up so that my virtual people can still see. We're going to do a little bit of history. We're not going to hear Jason Yammer forever and ever, Maybe. Um, but we're going to uh, listen to a little bit of history and then really jump into showing off that month's quilts. Um, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. It will be I'm a lot really of fun. glad to be able to start to be able to do some things in person. And I think that, you know, even if you didn't do this month's quilt, if you want to come see the live, you mm -hmm. know, in person, I want to see what this month looks like. And then you go, huh, I really like that quilt. I think I'll jump in and do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You you can do that. Absolutely. So patterns will still be available for purchase at $10 per pattern. Mm -hmm. um, again, I think there are some other details as far as continuing into 23. I think we need to tack down a few things. but Sure. Um, but it will still be like if you, you know, if you've never done this before and you are like, this is brand new to me, you can purchase that first $10 pattern. Um and then you could get the whole rest of the year for free mm -hmm. if you get that month's quilt done by the by the deadline. And last Saturday. Last okay. Saturday of the month. And then, and again, these are not super big. Mm -mm. It's generally one block that you do over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, some of these quilts are just one giant block. It's so cool. I'm excited about it. I, I think I kind of talked myself into being responsible for January's. I did Kind of did. I said it'd be oh easy. Girl. I can do that. Good. Oh, boy. Great. He has till December 31st to get it done. I don't have much time <laughs> to start working. And I haven't started yet. haven't even picked the fabric yet. Right. But it'll be okay. I'll make it happen. Yeah. Anyway, so but going to continue. That said, there, let's lead into the general rules of the program, sure. as always. Because if you're thinking, I'm going to do December's and roll into next year's with this, or, you know, kind of get in the train for this, just so I come in for that show and tell, you buy the pattern online. $10 or come in and get it from us. You do have to make the quilt top the same size the pattern has as a minimum or what they at expect least. to be finished at. So at if the least. pattern says it finishes at 48 by 48, you have to have it at least that size. You can make it bigger. Like you could triple or double the amount of right. blocks you're making and make it bigger. That's fine. Generally, they have optional borders. Right. So you can or cannot. It doesn't matter. Um, also, I have had people before that like, Oh, it was using, uh, let's say these were one and a half inch strips. I have no idea if that's right. These are one and a half inch strips. And I have two and a half inch. I have a whole bunch of two and a half mm -hmm. inch strips. If you want to make this larger, you're absolutely more than welcome to do so. You still have to have at least as many blocks in the quilt. It does got to finish. That's the whole, just, you know, in the heart and the spirit of it all. So right. So that that much. Yeah. Um, we do ask that you keep with the general principle of the pattern as much as possible. Um, there are people that will take a block and then just reconfigure it. I'm fine with that. Just be aware that if it looks completely like you made a log cabin when it's supposed to be flying geese. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's not the same. I probably won't accept that as a completed quilt top. <laughs> yeah. So just be aware of that. Yeah. Um, there is no commitment as far as you have to buy fabric for uh, from us for this. Mm -mm. This is all about getting some of that stash fabric cleaned up. Right, right, Get it right. out, make something yep. so somebody can have it. Mm -hmm. um, if you miss a month. Mm -hmm. Say, I can't make it this month. There's no way I can finish this. I got a lot going on. Got a wedding, baby shower, all the things. That's okay. You can always buy next month's pattern when it comes available. Or three months from now. Or three or months whatever. from now. Or whatever. Um, it's just a lot of fun to be able to get those free patterns, but also to be able to just... And, and I've had people go, I'm really sorry I haven't been doing... And I'm like, oh, I do not have a list of who's doing this. <laughs> I am and not getting track of anything. Because really... You pay your ten dollars. You show you show up with a finished quilt. You're gonna get the next one for free, right? Mostly because my sister is great and keeps track of all those <laughs> things. Keeps track of all <laughs> of those things. Um, but yeah, yeah, sometimes sometimes life is, just gets in the way, and you can't you know it's tough you to can't keep up stick with to it, it, and that's okay. Um, I do have a couple of people who are like, I'm doing your hundred block. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm I can do the block of the month. I'm doing a block doing of the all month. The things. I'm doing solar. I'm doing this. I, you know what? This is our hobby, right? right? You can either or don't. It's okay. Right. You know, uh, you don't you have to do all the things. Happy. It's all good. But you can still be involved by watching us and um, commenting along and then, you know, uh, 
showing off what you're working on as well in the Quilters Collective. It's not just for International Mystery Quilt. Nope. This is good for all for the things. All the things. If you don't know about the Quilters Collective, we do have a Facebook group that is monitored by us, Warm and Cozy. Mm -hmm. um, but we really wanted it to be about a community. collective, a community of um, people so that you can show off what you're working on and not be criticized, not be... Um, Oh, cool. I want one of those, too. Can you just make it? And I need I it in red. For next and week? can you have it here next week? Because oh. I've got a friend that I want to give it to who's going to put it on the floor for her dog. <laughs> no! <laughs> None no, of those things happen. Thing. No. <laughs> People go through this. This is real life. It's the worst. I'm so sorry. No, Jason, we don't keep a naughty list. <laughs> and that's extra pressure. Right. We don't need that in our right. lives. Yeah. Um, couple other rules, though, to talk about with the International Mystery Quilt. Just be aware of this. We do only ask that the quilt top be finished. You do not right. have to have it quilted. If you notice, this is just a flimsy. Mm -hmm. Don't look at the seam allowance on that. She did amazing with her Skyline S6. Thank you, Sadie. Um, but mm -hmm. if you need a machine to make it like that, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway. That's pretty awesome. Having a nice machine gets you a little more accuracy. Works well. Uh, so it does not have to be quilted. Just the flimsy. If you have it quilted, that's cool. We love to see completed quilts just the same. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to quilt it, though, you have to have it bound. This Wrong. is an absolute not requirement. I made that up just now. Um, anyway. I, was, I should have just let him go with it, but I didn't. <laughs> you stop it. You stop yeah, me. so what, at least the flimsy has to be made. Uh -huh. That's the most that you have to have done. That's it. You are not required anything further than that. No, not at all. Um, um, and again, we'll not put you on a list of, oh, they started and then dropped off. We will not, I won't do that. Maybe a little bit, <laughs> but I won't tell you. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, goodness gracious. But one thing, did, have you have you picked up on this yet? You know what's that? The last Saturday of the month, mm -hmm. sometimes that's fifth Saturday. Oh, so you need to be here anyway. So you're going to come anyway for your loyalty. Oh, wait, did you guys know there's Loyalty Club next year? Oh, we're continuing that on. 2023, we yes. have our next loyalty program nice and the segment. cards are in the house. That was nicely done. Yeah, I know, right? That was great. Um, we do have the new cards. Yes. We are ready for you. If you uh, were never a loyalty member and you would like to join, just hit us up. We'll let you, give you all the deets. Yeah, head on in the store. Get yourself your next one. If you currently own one, you get yourself your discount on that one. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't have it, well, now's the time to get it. Be prepared mm -hmm. for January of 23 and getting your discount every time you shop. Right. Fantastic. Uh, that said, do not forget, we also sell handy quilters. Do you need a long arm? Do you want a long arm for Christmas? Do you want good service? That's why I'm here. Right. All these things. Um, come on in. Let's get you a machine and get you quilting on your own quilts. That way you can get these done before the show. Because You'll be like the, the star. overachiever star. Right. It'll be exactly. fantastically awesome. So <laughs> I hope I don't lose my... Don't lose your cards. Please don't lose your cards. We'll work with you as much as we can, but Joey, <laughs> sure, Joe, I see you out there. Um, <laughs> all right, what else do I have here? I don't think I have a whole lot more other than be aware of Monday's flash sales. Um, Monday, we'll I go Monday. in, I put in some stuff into a flash sale category. It's a great price. You can go there, shop, buy stuff, have it shipped, or pick up. Either way. Um, Wednesdays, we still have our Wednesday live sale. Wednesday live sale. Yes, um, yes. We're doing that based on new fabric each month or nice. each week yeah. and showing you what's coming in or what we've got that's new. So, okay. okay. I think that's everything. I think that's everything. I'm going to go and verify that all the names are proper and ready on the email list. I'm going to hit the send button. Be ready. Um, if you get that pattern you think oh i know i need some new fabric for that come on in and let me get you some new fabric mm -hmm. um if you just need to come in and say hi then feel free to do that if you're coming in for the so, the weekend of necessity that'd be awesome mm -hmm. christmas it's at two o'clock it starts today we'll see you right then. right we still have room do we we have a couple spots open if you if you still want to like sew, i want to come right now and sew with these people come on come on do two it come on and do it mm -hmm. otherwise I think I've had enough fun here. What about you? How are you feeling over there? Are you good. good? I think we're good for today. All right. Well, with that, um, let's do the uh, get on out of here thing. All so. right. Sounds good. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye.